My name is Gordon McGinnis. I work here at Carolina Beach Counseling at Carolina Beach, North Carolina. Today we're going to talk about how to work with uh, various anxiety medications. Different types of medications can have different types of side effects and some of the anxiolytics or anti-anxiety medications fall into a, a category called of the benzodiazepines which can have some addictive principles properties to them and you you know you don't want to take these medications long term they will help with anxiety they'll help calm those panic symptoms down and they will be helpful but because they have addiction addictive properties you don't want to take them forever um, so you want to be able to learn other ways to control your anxiety rather than the medication a lot of times with some of these anxiety medications I have found that people take them when they start to feel these anxiety symptoms coming on or when they're already in the middle of an anxiety or a panic attack. Sometimes that's not the best time to take them because the medication then has to work uphill because you've already started this process and the cycle going. Um, and so sometimes it's better to take them prior to going into a situation that may make you anxious, like uh, taking it prior to going to the grocery store. That is one of the places where people have the most anxiety, is in the checkout lane at grocery stores. And if you think about it, you've got somebody in front of you, somebody behind you, a row of Snickers bars on one side, and the National Enquirer on the other side, and you're trapped. You're stuck. And if you look at the psychological thought process behind anxiety, a lot of it is a fear of loss of control. I'm stuck in this situation and I can't get out. What happens if I have to go to the bathroom? What happens if I pass out? What happens if there's a fire? What happens if there's an earthquake? What happens? And we just catastrophize these things out. And that our mind, what we tell ourselves in our head, continues to keep this going on and on and on until the point where we just worked ourselves up into a tizzy and we can't do anything more about it. That was just some advice on some various topics related to anxiety. Uh, as always, you should go seek professional help or go see your doctor uh, if these things are continuing to bother you.